So now you can, if you have watched the previous video, you can do the analysis by your own here. Then you can see the solution. Okay. First, we will talk about the V naught. Okay. Talking about V naught at equals to zero, what will happen? The complete circuit is short circuited. The complete circuit is shorted. Complete circuit is short circuited. And if complete circuit is short circuited, and because of that, there is impulse current. And if there is impulse current, there is impulse current. So there will be sudden change in voltage. Sudden change in capacitor voltage. That concept I have already told already. Uh, that concept I have already taught in the previous video. So sudden change in capacitor voltage. Okay. So at t equals to zero, what happens? We have infinite frequency content. And because of infinite frequency content, the parallel combination of RC can be replaced by parallel combination of RC can be simply replaced by a capacitor. Okay. So at t equals to zero, we will have this circuit. This is C. This is also C. Okay. And this is V naught. And this is five volt. So your V naught at t equals to 0 plus would be 2.5 volt and at t equals to infinity what will happen at t equals to infinity this will be open circuited and this will also be open circuited so at t equals to infinity this is open circuited this is resistance r and this is your v naught and here you have vi 0 to 5 volt okay so your v naught at t equals to infinity will be 0 volt okay and similarly we can talk about vc1 as well this is your vc1 so at t equals to 0 what happens your v v naught and vc1 equals to 2.5 volt only and your v naught at t equals to infinity is your sorry vc at t equals to infinity is 5 volt okay so what is happening here is the capacitor at the load at the output sorry the capacitor at the output is first it is getting charged to 2.5 volt then it is getting charged to 0 this one first it is it is going from 2.5 to 0 and it is going from 2.5 to 2 volt okay we should call it vc1 actually vc1 here i should call it vc1 yes so this is happening for v note first from 0 to sudden 2.5 okay from 0 to sudden 2.5 volt and then it is going to 0 and for vc1 what is happening from 0 to sudden 2.5 then from 2.5 to it is charging to 5 volt okay 2.5 to 5 volt so this is what is happening okay and now talking about the currents we will go to this circuit so what do we need to find ic1 ic2 and ir okay so talking about the ic1 at t equals to 0 at t equals to 0 both ic1 and ic2 will be equal because there is sudden change of voltage v by 2 v in by 2 there is sudden change of voltage in both of the capacitor there is sudden change of voltage that is v in by 2 okay so it would be the change in at t equals to 0 it would be c c into v in by 2 delta t the change in voltage is v in by 2 so the change in charge is c into v in by 2 and because there is charge change in charge is c into v in by 2 and the charge the change in charge is happening in no time the change in charge is c into v in by 2 and it is happening in no time and because of that the current is c into v in by 2 delta t the concept that i have already explained in the previous video okay so at t equals to 0 plus and at t equals to 0 what is the current in the register 0 ampere why so because this is this is not even there that the capacitor the current the resistance has a very high value of uh, the r has a very high value of resistance okay a very high value of impedance this this resistance is provided providing very high value of impedance so be, because of that there will be no current okay so your ir value is zero at t equals to zero okay so now your ir value is zero ampere and at t equals to zero plus at t equals to zero plus what is happening this is c this is r and 
this is capacitor C this is R this is C and this is C okay this is your V node this is pipe volt and here we have 2.5 voltage right not here here we can see here we have V in by 2 I should write here I have V in by 2 and here also I have V in by 2 and because of that in this direction we will be having V in by 2 R current ok now what is happening is that in this direction we are having two V in by 2 R current now in this direction we will have some current and in this direction we will have some current now this capacitance C1 capacitance is getting charged here you can see VC1 is getting increased from 2.5 to 5 volt so this C1 is getting charged and this this capacitance is getting discharged so for, so in this capacitor the current is going from minus to plus and in this capacitor the current is going from plus to minus and what will be the value value will be equal why so because both of the capacitor one is getting charged and one is getting discharged but both of the capacitor are charging or discharging at the same rate if this current is v in by 2r then this has to be v in by 4r and this also has to be v in by 4r so this is v in by 4r this is v in by 4r and this current is v in by 2r okay so this is getting charged with v in by 4r current this is getting discharged with v in c2 capacitor is getting discharged with v in by 4r current and this one is getting charged with v in by 4r current okay so you can draw the waveforms you can draw all the waveforms if you have understood the concept now you can draw the all the waveforms all three currents okay so the ir1 is the easier easiest one and then ic1 and here we have ic2 so for ir what is happening at t equals to 0 plus we have ir equals to v in by 2r okay and at t equals to 0 plus and your ic1 is v in by 4r and your ic2 is v in by 4r okay actually if we are taking ic in this direction in from up to low then it should be minus v in by 4r right and in the previous problem as well there is some uh, problem i guess we had we were taking ic1 in this direction right in previous problem as well we were taking ic1 in in this direction so it would be from minus v in by 4r to 0 here we have minus v in by 4r to 0 this would be the correct waveform okay we were taking ic1 in this direction but the current is flowing in this direction so it would be minus v in by 4r to 0 okay so in the previous problem this was the mistake and here as well and now so talking about current initially it is c into v in by 2 delta t and here as well c into v in by 2 delta t then what happens in ic1 in this resistance the current is increasing only in this direction only v in by 4r from v in by 4r it reduces to 0 and in here for minus v in by 4r2 it reduces to 0 because the direction is different okay we are taking ic2 in this direction but the current is opposite so it is v in by 4r in opposite direction so from minus v in by 4r2 we are going to 0 and for ir initially before t equals to 0 it was 0 then it is coming to v in by 2r and eventually it goes to 0 because both of the capacitors are open circuited so there is no current flowing through it okay so from we have 0 then we have a sudden jump that is equals to v in by 2r then it goes to 0 so i hope you have understood all the concepts here this is how you can do the intuitive analysis just go through the lecture once more or see the notes once again then you will understand there was the mistake in previous lecture that i have modified now the current is in opposite direction ic1 we were taking in this direction the current was in this direction and it reduces to zero okay okay thank you